Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you my two cents on the iPhone 16. Just a casual chat um, after uh, you know the announcement and all that stuff. Um, I don't think the phone's actually released just yet. I could I could be wrong. It actually might be released, but um, yeah, I thought I'd just give my two cents on um, you know what I thought about the device uh, coming out and uh, the new features or or lack thereof of uh, the new phone, the new action button or I'm sorry, camera control button, which is not a button, even though it is a physical button plus a haptic button as well uh, with like a half press feature then a full press feature anyway so in this lineup I think they have four devices um, they have the the regular 16 the 16 plus the 16 pro and pro max uh, the pro and the pro max are you know the traditional upgrades with the three cameras 120 hertz display which is still not on the base model which is shocking to me uh, because we have a $800 smartphone and $900 for the Plus, and it still doesn't have 120 hertz promotion. Rumors are this might come out uh, next year. Um, so hopefully it does. I was hoping to see even maybe just a 90 hertz display, just something over 60, uh, something you know with a smoother display. It makes a huge difference, trust me. Once you go on 20 hertz, you can't go back to a 60 hertz panel. Um, the biggest letdown for this for this uh, generation, which the whole event was centered around, uh, you know, Apple intelligence, the new AI features, the new summarization tools, the new um, copied from Google, uh, you know, you circle an image, circle the search. I don't know what it's called, but you essentially circle an image and it'll like Google search and tell you what it is. You can take a picture of things. It can identify it uh, through your camera. All those features literally got postponed because they're not finalized yet. Apple is trying to act like they're innovating on the AI stuff, uh, but they're not. They're actually falling behind and uh, they, they're releasing a brand new smartphone, four new smartphones, without these major up, upgrades to the software. Uh, this is coming in eight, iOS 18.1, 18.0 is out right now. Uh, you can download that. I downloaded it, honestly, just mostly customization features. Uh, copying Android. Anyway, um, where was I going with that? So we have uh, a phone being released essentially without the biggest promise and the biggest talking point of the announcement, which I find massively disappointing for Apple. You know, Apple, I think, is receiving a lot of flack from this release, primarily because people are starting to catch on that these phones are just such minor incremental upgrades. I think the big upgrade uh, is coming next year actually because I can't remember how many generations it takes before they make a revolutionary revolutionary uh, jump with their smartphones where they completely redesign the whole thing. I wanna say that it's usually like five to six years. I think going back to the iPhone 10 was the start of this generation and it should be upgraded next year or something like that. You know, we've had this notch design, which turned into the pill, our dynamic island design uh, that we've had for three years now, um, which is fine, honestly. I, I have a feeling it's just gonna turn into a singular camera cutout like Android does it. Um, Touch ID is still not on this phone. I don't know why Touch ID was such a cool feature. They could just add that on the power button if they really wanted to, or they could have even added it for the camera control button. I really don't know why it's already like it already has a sensor in there. I feel like it could have easily doubled as a fingerprint sensor. That honestly is a huge lost opportunity. Um, but they're sticking with Face ID and they're like, nope, we're not going to give you Touch ID back. Whatever. Um, if people aren't aware, I actually still thoroughly enjoy Android um, more than iOS. I am currently using an iPhone, uh, mostly for the social aspect of it. I uh, still always prefer Android though, and I do want to switch back, <coughs> sorry, because of all the um, Samsung announcements and Samsung devices that have been coming out recently with their, their AI features. Um, their phones are just getting immensely better than iPhones right now, in terms of the hardware, in terms of the software, in terms of the camera quality. Camera quality, uh, you know, that's more subjective than objective. Anyway, um, to me, this was a letdown year. The pros just got a bump in screen size uh, with a five, five opticals, 5x optical zoom lens added to both 
Um, so pretty minor upgrades there. I guess they were thinking, hey, let's just increase the size of this phone a little bit, uh, shrink the bezels a little bit, uh, so we can get to that 6.3 inch design, uh, just so we can fit more on screen and make it look more futuristic, kind of have a waterfall feel with the screen without curving over the edge. You know, I mean, yeah, you can view more content on it, but I don't think going from 6.1 to 6.3 inches is that drastic. And I'm honestly a little worried about going from 6.7 to 6.9 inches on the Pro Max, because that's honestly uh, getting to tablet size uh, device shortly. I mean, a lot of tablets uh, that have come out are normally seven inch tablets and we're already at 6.9 inches. We're right on the cusp of uh, breaking um, breaking uh, the seven inch barrier there. So I was disappointed the, the with this release and I've been kind of disappointed in the past couple of releases. Um, colors are boring on the pros. I guess the colors are better on the standard 16s. Mm, they, they brought the action button to the 16, which I guess is fine. Uh, they, although I have the action button and I literally never use it. So that tells me that adding another camera control button, just for me from the average consumer, uh, I would never use it personally. Now you have two additional buttons on the phone and I, I've never seen anyone say this in a review, um, but they just added an action button literally last year on these devices, which can open the camera and you already have the volume buttons on the device which can help you take pictures. Every other feature that you see in camera control can already be done on screen, hence why I think this feature will actually never be used by most people. I think it'll be used by maybe 1% of the population uh, who are extreme camera buffs or camera fanatics who love to take uh, photos and, and have a sh dedicated shutter button on their, on their phone i guess now i mean that's that's what this is it's a glorified shutter button where you can zoom in and out and, and stuff like that and you can adjust the tone of the image contrast and all those other settings uh, but you can already literally do that on the camera app uh, you don't need a dedicated button to do that um, i've also heard it's fairly tedious and hard to pick up from people who've used the phone um let me think the pro chip now and base base uh what is it the uh, 18 pro chip and then the standard 18 chip um, I mean, performance updates, battery life is slightly improved. They measured in video playback hours. I think it's like two hours greater than last year's. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest, USB Type-C still, I believe it's still the slow USB speeds on the standard 16. Could be wrong on that, but I believe that to be true. Um, I'm trying to think anything else that they really announced with this pretty much the same you know it's an iphone and uh without the ai features that they promised you know when you make you when you make the whole keynote about apple intelligence and then you release the phone without apple intelligence it's kind of like you just gave us a half-baked product and you're like here go buy this thing you go to the store you buy this product and you realize this is literally the exact same as my old phone plus a camera camera an additional camera shutter button it's literally it I can guarantee you that most people cannot even tell a difference in performance because performance is already good on the 15 lineup and the 15 Pro, which which had the uh, 17 Pro chip or whatever, um, A17 Pro chip. So yeah, I think this was a blunder by Apple. I think they really messed up with this launch uh, since they focused so much on the AI, but then couldn't deliver on the AI because it wasn't finished yet. Um, and they're never going to delay. They're never going to delay a smartphone launch because of shareholders. So I, I, I don't know what have they been doing th thus far uh, with all these AI features. Why is it still in beta? I'm not sure. Um, I know you can download it. I think there are versions where you can download it, um, like beta testing it, but it's not available on the full device. Um, so I don't know disappointed this year leave a comment down below what you guys thought of the new iphone release i could touch on other apple products that they discussed um, at this keynote event uh, including the <laughs> airpods max which got zero update i could make a whole rant on that too but new iphones you know they're they're the same people are mad about it i think we should uh we should spread awareness to this issue uh, because it's been happening for a long time so it's gonna be for this video guys hope you all enjoyed it hope you learned something useful um if you did you know you know what to do hit the hit the like button down below and we'll share this um if you enjoyed this casual talk uh, me bashing apple always happy to do so and uh yeah i'll see you guys on the next video from tech with scott
Bye everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. If you're interested, click over here to subscribe to the channel and click over here for another amazing tech video review slash tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Appreciate all you guys. See you in the next video.